Hello everyone, this is Tim from Cleveland Baseball Fan 879, and this is game number 121 of the 2007 Cleveland Indians Stratomatic Mostly Advanced Replay. Uh, today the Indians head to Tampa to face the Devil Rays. The Indians come into the game with a 57 and 63 record. They are currently tied with the Detroit Tigers for second place, and they are two game, both two games back of the Minnesota Twins, who are currently at 59 and 61. Uh, the Devil Rays are in last place in the AL East, uh, lead held by the Boston Red Sox. But a surprising second place team, the Toronto Blue Jays, so we're only three and a half back. So we'll see how that goes. Of course, I will be rolling for the uh, Tigers and the Twins for hyper-fast scoring after the game, as well as the Boston Red Sox and possibly the Toronto Blue Jays. All right, so tonight's pitching matchup is Paul Bird for the Indians and Edwin Jackson for the Devil Rays. Bird on the season, four and seven, and in a hundred, four, and, four wins, seven losses, and in 110 and two-thirds innings pitched, has allowed 56 earned runs, walked 19, struck out 49, and has a 4.55 ERA. And the lineups for both teams, starting with the Indians, uh, leading off Kenny Lofton, batting and playing left field. Uh, batting second, playing third base, Casey Blake. Batting third and playing center field, Grady Sizemore. Uh, cleaning up and playing first base, Victor Martinez. Uh, batting fifth, the designated hitter, not Travis Hafner, Ryan Garko. Hafner will be given at least the start of the game off. Uh, batting sixth and playing shortstop, Johnny Peralta. Uh, batting seventh and playing right field, Franklin Gutierrez. Batting eighth and catching is Kelly Shopik. Batting ninth and, and playing second base is Asdrubal Cabrera. And for the Double Rays, leading off and playing third base, Akinori Iwamura. Uh, batting second and playing left field, Carl Crawford. Uh, batting third and playing center field, uh, B.J. Upton. Cleaning up and playing first base, Carlos Pena. Uh, batting fifth and playing right field, Delman Young. Uh, batting sixth and playing second base, Brendan Harris. Uh, this, your seventh hitter is the designated hitter, Greg Norton. Batting eighth and the guy who will try not to boo too much, the 2016 World Series MVP, Ben Zobrist. And batting ninth and catching is Josh Paul. All right, here's Kenny Lofton to lead off the game. And a 4-7 against the lefty. That's a leadoff walk for Lofton. And the Rays are susceptible with Paul behind the plate. He is a plus one. So Lofton, being an ace stealer, of course, will be held on. Uh, it means he starts at a 15, goes down to a 13. But with, with Paul's... Plus one, he goes back up to a 14. So Lofton will take off. One to 14, he will be on second base. That's a 13, he's in there. So that is Lofton's. Only his third stolen base as an Indian, but did what he did in the early 90s with the Indians, and that'll bring up Casey Blake. Casey on the season 252 average, 13 homers, 52 RBIs. Love to get the Indians off to an early start. And that's a foul ball. We'll re-roll. Sorry, time out. I'm going to move the camera. Okay. And here's the pitch to Blake. And a 611 is a right field X, a two for the right fielder. Ooh, I don't know if a two. Delman Young's a two, but a two might drop in. And it will. It had to be higher than a three and in range for it to be an out. So that's a single. Scoring from second is Lofton. 
That is RBI number 53 for Casey Blake, and the Indians are out to a 1 0 lead. And they will not hold Blake on. That'll bring up Grady Sizemore. Uh, coming up is Grady Sizemore, 273 average, 12 homers, 46 RBIs. Uh, three, six, and oh, fly ball to right, but tr ranging over is the right fielder. Young makes the catch. One to 12, double chance, but that was a 19. So first out of the inning, and here's Victor Martinez. Uh, Victor on the season, 306 average, 27 homers, 87 RBIs. Uh, Victor was held, uh, I don't want, I guess I'll say it. Go back and watch the previous video. He was held hitless, but had a 12-game hitting streak snapped uh, in that game. Right, here's Martinez. 6-9, and against the lefty, that's a fly ball to center. Caught by the center fielder, Upton, two down. That'll bring up Ryan and Ryan Garko coming to the plate. 265 average, 15 homers, 50 RBIs. And a 1-4, he draws a walk. So second walk in the inning for Edwin Jackson. He did walk eight in his no-hitter that he threw with the Arizona Diamondbacks, which is among I think, 12 teams he was on. There's something ridiculous like that. I'm, if it's not the size 12, somebody will let me know in the comments. All right, here's and Johnny, and Johnny Peralta now batting. Uh, 252 average, 19 homers, 61 RBIs. Two, four, ground ball back to the mound. And Jackson throws to first. That'll retire the side. The Indians do get out to a 1-0 lead. And the Devil Rays are coming up in the bottom here, bottom of the first. All right. And here is Akinori Iwamura. Here's the pitch to Iwamura. 5-3 to the left fielder. Lofton, a 15. Should be in range, and it is. And he races in and makes the catch. To retire Iwamura, one down. And here's Carl Crawford. And a 1-7, and just gets under it. Fly ball to center, and Sizemore will camp under it and make the catch two down. Here's B.J. Upton. Five eleven. Ooh, fly ball to left. And Lofton under it, puts it away, and that'll retire the side. After one complete, it's the Indians one and the Devil Rays nothing. And Goody, bottom third of the order, Gutierrez, Shopik, and Cabrera. Of course, uh, Franklin Gu or Azubal Cabrera might be the only one in this lineup to actually have a World Series ring. He was on the 2019 Nationals. I don't believe... Um, no, Lofton was never on a World Series team, and he was on a played in the World Series, but never won one. And Victor, I don't believe, was on the Red Sox in 2013. If he was, hold on, let me take a look at that at timeout. No, Victor Martinez was was on the Tigers in 2013. All right, so here's Franklin Gutierrez. Two six and ooh, swing and a miss, strike three. First strikeout for Jackson. Gutierrez came in into the at bat, hitting 265 with 10 homers and 26 RBIs. And that'll bring it. And here's Kelly Shopik, 
182 average, 7 homers, 17 RBIs. And everything in the two column is pretty much not good. And that's a swing and a miss strike three. Two down. And here it says Dribble Cabrera. Betting 231 in his short time here in Cleveland. Three hits and 13 official at bats. Five, seven, and oh, against the lefty, he draws a walk. But he will. So, third walk already for Edwin Jackson. And we'll go back to the top of the order for, with Lofton. Walked, stole a base, and scored in the first inning. Three, eight. And that's ripped into center field. A hit for Lofton, and going to third is Cabrera. And so runners on the corners with two down. Let's try to get a two-out rally. And here's Casey Blake. Singled his last time up and drove in Lofton. Six, three, and this might guarantee another run driven in. Although, no, it won't, because Crawford is a one, and a one will make the play. Oh, my, what a catch by Carl Crawford. To retire the side. Oh, if it was hit anybody but Crawford, that would have been a hit for sure. But either a double or a triple. But Crawford ranges over, makes the nice diving catch, and that'll retire the side. And the Indians strand two, and we'll go to the bottom of the second. Indians lead one to nothing. Middle of the order, Pena, Young, and Harris. Of course, Carlos Pena is not still there. I believe he's still a MLB Network analyst, or he was at least at one point. And actually, of course, he more famous being on Moneyball was traded to the Tigers in the middle of the 2002 season. And a 4-5 against the lefties, a fly to left, and Lofton already has his third put out today. One away. Here's Delman Young. And a 2-9, uh, weak ground ball to second. Cabrera charges and throws the first to get Young two down. And here's Brendan Harris. And this time against the righty, and this one goes to Sizemore. And another 1-2-3 inning for the double raise here in the bottom of the second. And we go to the top of the third. The Indians lead one to nothing. And Sizemore, Martinez, and Garco are due up here in the top of the third. Here's Brady. Pull out his last time up. Six, eight. And that's a seven, but that's a leadoff single for Size more. Hmm. We're going to not take the bat out of Martinez's hand. We'll see if we... Well, they're going to hold him on. He's thinking about stealing, but not with Victor at the plate. Well, if you hold him on, he's a B hit and run, but I don't want to take that away from him. All right. They're going to pitch to Martinez. Five, four, catcher X. Running shouldn't be in range. It isn't. Paul is an E1. So if he rolls anything but a three, four, there's a chance he could get him out on a two. But we'll see. So E1 for a catcher. That's a five, and that's good enough. A little dribbler out in front of the, up the first baseline, 
And nice swinging bunt by Victor Martinez. Moves size more to second. And I will not be stealing size more. He'd be a only a one to nine to steal third. I don't really like those odds. 45% chance. All right, here's Garko walked his first time up. Five, five, and Garko goes down on strikes. Two down. That is Jackson's third strikeout. Two down. And here's Johnny, and there's Johnny Peralta grounded out his first time up. Three nine, and and Peralta goes down on strikes as well. I'll retire the side. The Indians strand a runner on a hit, and we go to the bottom of the third. Indians lead one to nothing. And bottom third of the order due up for the Devil Rays: Norton, Zobrist, and Paul. Of course, Norton, a member of the White Sox, at one time. Designated hitter tonight. Four seven and switch hitter betting left handed. Oops. And he will, takes one into center field for base hit. First hit of the game for the Devil Rays. And here's Ben Zobrist. Oh, that card is paltry against right handed pitching. Gets it off the batter card, and that's to the left fielder, Lofton. A seven should be in range. Oh, and a nice sliding catch by Lofton. He, that's the only number in the top half of the range. Let's see how well I can get that. Left and right field, three and a seven. You see all the hits on the top, but a seven is an out. And that will retire Zobrist as... Lofton, very busy tonight, four putouts. And here's Josh Paul, the catcher. Um, they're not expecting a bunt with one out. And Paul will be bunting. Oh boy. A B and an 11. He pops it up. First baseman Martinez easily gets it, and getting back to first is Norton. Two down. Here's Akinori Iwamura. Flew out his first time up. Six, six uh, against the lefty. Popped him up. For, uh, the traditional pop-up first base side, and Martinez puts it away, and that'll retire the side. And we are through three. Indians lead one to nothing. And bottom third of the order, two up for the Indians. Gutierrez, Shafik, and Cabrera. Gutierrez, strikeout victim, his first time up. Here's the pitch to Gutierrez. 4-4, four, four, center field X. 9 is shouldn't be in range for Upton. It is not. But Upton is an E4, so a 5-10. to 10, He will corral this one. And a 6 will make the play. One down. Gutierrez now 0 for 2. And here's Kelly Shopix also struck out his first time up.
six eight and loft and uh sorry Shopik. a rare sight base hit for him and he'll reach first and not be held on and hmm. we'll let Cabrera swing away here Cabrera walked his first time up one seven he draws a walk so that is walk number four for Edwin Jackson And that'll bring up Lofton and trying to get a big inning here if you're the Indians. Six, six, and he goes down on strikes. Oh, big strikeout for Edwin Jackson. And here's Casey Blake. His RBI single in the first is the only one for the end, and only running the game. Three, eight, ground ball to short. And Zobris throws the first to retire. Blake and the Indians strand two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven men left on so far. And to the bottom of the fourth. Indians lead one to nothing. And Crawford, Upton, and Pena do up. Crawford also played for the uh, Boston Red Sox and Los Angeles Dodgers in his career. And that ball is hit deep to center field. Going back to the warning track to the wall is Sizemore, and that's out of here. One to seven home run chance and a two passes. And we have a tie game at one. And here's BJ Upton. Six, six, and... Line drive to Peralta. One away. Here, and Pena comes up. Fly, flew out the left his first time up. And, oh, that's a fly ball! Deep to left field! Going back to the warning track as Lofton puts it away! Oh, Paul Bird not fooling anybody the, this part second time through. 1 to 17 home run chance, and that's an and an 18 was rolled. Wow. Catcher Shopik may go out and have a talk with uh, Bird, tell him to not do that again. There's Delman Young. 4 8. We'll say that's an 18. And into center, dropped it into center field. And the Devil Rays have not gone down easy here in the bottom of the fourth. Brennan Harris flew out his first time up. And base hit. Going to third is Young. And here's Norton singled his last time up. And Norton, oh, he would have been a normal power. But that's in the center field. Scoring from third is Young. Uh, let's see if they want to send Harris not being held on. Makes him a 13. Two outs puts him at a 15. 
that is assumed to go to the center field, so no reduction. 1 to 15, they will send him. And a 4, he is safe. So 2 run double for Norton. And the Devil Rays have taken a 3 to 1 lead. Here's Ben Zobrist. And a 1 8 to pop up to short. And that will retire the side. Let the Devil Rays get three. And all those runners innings left on have, might come back to haunt them. And do up for the Indians is Sizemore, Martinez, and Garko. Edwin Jackson gets new life. Bird was cruising along through three innings and then they must have found something. Or may have been tipping his pitches. And 6-10 against the lefty is a fly ball to left. And Carl Crawford puts it away. One down. And here's Victor Martinez. Martinez 0 for 2 with a ground, ground out and a fly out. 3 5, single to 8, but that's caught by the second baseman, uh, Harris. Iwo Murr would play second base in the 08 season when they went to the World Series. All right, here's Ryan Darko, 2 down, nobody on, walked and struck out. And add another strikeout to that column. One, two, three inning for the Indians in the fifth. And do up for the Rays here in the bottom of the fifth. Paul Iwamura and Crawford. Two and a ten is a line drive to third. Blake snags it. One away. And here's Iwamura. Five, six. Fly ball to center. Sizemore puts it away. That's his third put out. Two down, and here's Carl Crawford. Started a three run fourth with a solo homer. And a four six. And he will start this rally, maybe, with a two out single. And yes, with Upton up, uh, Crawford, a double A stealer, starts at a 17. Holding him on makes him a 15. Uh, take away one for Shopix Arm. Puts him at a 1 to 14. A 70% chance they'll take their chances. Here's the throw. And on a 19, Crawford is caught stealing. Let's see, against the righty, that would be 2 6. And then I'll retire the side. Maybe that will be the spark the Indians need. So Upton will lead off the bottom of the sixth, but we go to the top of the sixth first. Peralta, Gutierrez, and Shopik. And this will be the start of both pitchers' point of weakness. I've gone over that in many videos. That's what that means. This will probably be it for Jackson. This is he's faced 23 batters through five innings. In fact, he probably should be pulled, but we'll see if we can get through the sixth. Uh, Scott Doman and 
Brian Stokes are loosening. Actually, Juan Salas is loosening in the pen. So we get Doman and Salas. They're trying to protect the lead. And the first base X goes to Pena. And the 17 will be in range for two. So he knocks it down, shovels it to uh, Jackson covering, one down. Here's Frank and Franklin Gutierrez now batting 0 for 2 with a strikeout. And a 4-8, and a D20 not being kind for the Indians. 80% uh, chance, and it fails. And so that's right to the shortstop. Zobris, two down. And in comes Kelly Shopik. Five, five, and he goes down on strikes. And that will retire the side. And I think that might be it for Edwin Jackson. And Bird has faced 20 batters through five. And he'll face Upton, Pena, and Young. And let's see here. We have, we have switch hitter, lefty, and righty. So they'll, they'll go with, oh, no, we don't want to go with Salas. All right, they'll go with Doman. All right, here's Upton. 3-9 and swing and a miss, strike three. First strikeout for Paul Bird. He's not a strikeout pitcher, but... Oh, well. And here's Carlos Pena. Flown out the left two times. And doesn't even get the bat on the ball as he strikes out. And two down. Here's Delman Young. And Young goes down on strikes, so Bird, not having a strikeout, strikes out the side. And we'll see if he comes out for the seventh. Top of the seventh. They will take out Jackson. They think he's done for the day. Uh, switch... Oh, they're going to bring in Doman the righty. Alright. So Doman coming in to face Cabrera, Lofton, and Blake Cabrera walked twice. In today's game. And does a, oh, once again, D20 not being kind. Ripped and cut off nicely by the, the center fielder Upton. Okay, it's a single, not a double. Should have been, but here's Kenny Lofton. Walked single and strikeout. And they won't bump because technically that run does not really mean a whole heck of a lot just at second base by himself. So here's the pitch to Lofton. 5-9. And I eh, should have done something with him. Ground ball to second. Harris to Zobrist to Pena. Double play. That's two down. And Casey Blake now up. Eight, 
And that, I'm not going to blame the D20 on this one. There's only 35% chance for a home run. But Blake knocks one off the wall. And that double play comes in pretty big there. As that's a two-out double for Casey Blake. Brings up Grady Sizemore. Sizemore, one for three with a single. And Stoman gets Sizemore on strikes, and that will retire the side. Another runner left on, on two hits. And stretch time here at Tropicana Field. Sing here, take me out to the ball games at the old ball game. All right, Bird will come out for the seventh. Try not to get him past the 27 batter mark. Uh, Jensen Lewis is loosening in the pen if needed. All right, there's Brennan Harris. Uh, Solace is loosening in the pen for the double raise. And a 2 5, and Bird strikes out Harris. Fourth strikeout in a row for Bird. There's Norton. Single and a double. For, I guess we'll call him the Warden, because that's the name of the, the uh, Warden in Shawshank Redemption. And Norton draws a walk, so... Been on base three times today. And here's Douglas. Uh, they'll let Bird at least get the f pitch to the final two batters, and then we'll go to the bullpen after that. 2-5, and he gets Zobrist on strikes. So it's pretty much been an all or nothing for double rays. And here's Paul. Oh, 5-8 and only his weak power against Freddy, but it won't matter. Swing and a miss. And the final six outs that Bird records are all strikeouts. And Bird will not be coming out for the eighth. He gave all that he had. Just Unfortunately, the Indians hitting has not been so well. All right. So we'll go to the eighth. Solace will come in. And Salas will face Martinez. Boy, this could get interesting. Garco. Although we might get a pinch hitter for Garco. I think we are. And Peralta. So, I mean, he's not great against the lefties, especially the, that... 5-5 five, five, or 6-5 uh, being a, just an automatic home run. But I'm going to get Solace in the game. And oh, he found the, the hole in the, the one column. Ground ball to short and that'll retire Martinez. Oh, jeez. And they're going to have Travis Hafner hit for Ryan Garko. Trying to get lightning in a bottle here. Not that Hafner is doing all that great himself. 242 average, 19 homers, 68 RBIs for Hafner. Here's Hafner. 5 10 shortstop X. Uh, Zobrist as a 3. We'll get to that as a 7. And throw out Hafner, 2 down. 
Here's Johnny Peralta, 0 for 3, two ground outs and a strikeout. And make that two strikeouts as Salas takes care of the Indians here in the eighth. And in will come, let's see, we have, I said Lewis was going to come on, but lefty, lefty, righty. Uh, we're going to have Aaron Fultz come in, at least to face the left-handers. And then maybe we'll have uh, Lewis come in for the righties. Yes, there's no three batter rule, so I'm not going to be held to that. And I'll give you Fultz's stats here and right here, making his 42nd appearance. Probably, we'll see if that's more or less than what he actually did. 27 innings pitched, 14 earned runs, 9 walks, 21 strikeouts, and a 4.67 ERA on the replay. Um, on the real season, he, only, he went, pitched in 37 innings. So, still under usage for him going into the middle of August. And he'll only face the two batters here that are lefties. As Jensen Lewis continues to loosen in the pen. Uemura 0 for 3 today. 3 6 and a course on well, either side that's a walk. So, oh, Mura B Steeler will be held on. And they're expecting a bunt from Crawford. But he ooh, will not be bunting. And that's a ground ball back to the mound. Fultz the second for one. And the relay is in time. So one to six to three with a left-handed batter. And that'll take us the call to the bullpen. As Jensen Lewis will pitch the get try to get the final out here in the Eighth inning. And here's BJ Upton. Uh, shortstop X12 will not be in range for Peralta. He needs a, a D21, 7 to 11. 7 gets him. Nice play for Peralta. And that'll retire the side. Oh, forgot to say uh, the oof. Uh, situation here. Time out just a second. Okay, so I was debating between whether to use um, Al Reyes or Dan Wheeler. Wheeler was actually the closer for the Houston Astros. Um, but didn't really close for the Devil Rays. So Reyes will come on to try to close out the game in the top of the ninth, as I don't fill in my scorecard here. All right, bottom third of the order. Um, hmm. Yeah, try. As there is Reyes's card. Down three to one. Here's Gutierrez. 0 for three. Five nine shortstop X thirteen should be in range for. Yep, shortstop. Zobrist will make the play. One down. Once again, it's almost a guaranteed on base. Uh, 
if you get him in an air check, but nope. Here's Kelly Shopik. One for three with a single. Six, eight, and he goes down on strikes. So last hope for the Indians is, is Dribble Cabrera. A single and two walks today. Three, eight, single to five, 17, line drive. Caught by the first baseman. And that's your ball game. Final score from Tropicana Field. The Indians lose this one 3-1, to one, most because they left runners on base. We'll be right back with the line score and hyper-fast scoring right after this. All right, so the Indians fall to 57-64 and 64 on the season. Uh, Paul Bird will get the loss, and Edwin Jackson the win, and Reyes will get the save. Three runs, six hits, no errors for the Devil Rays. One run, six hits, and no errors. Eight runners left on, even though the Rays did not get a get a hit past the fifth inning and only had two base runners past the, the sixth. All right, and we'll go ahead and get the hyper-fast scoring. Uh, I'll have to do a few more games. Uh, the dice go in red, blue, and this greenish color here, order. And let me get you the, the, so the twins. I may have to roll a couple games. Timeout. All right, so I'm going to roll two games for the Tigers because the Indians had a day off between their games with the Tigers and the Devil Rays. So the uh, Tigers played at home on August 16th uh, against the Yankees. And I'll get you that pitching matchup in just a second. And this pitching matchup is Justin Verlander against Mike Messina. And so the Yankees, being the home team, get to roll a 4 to 5 or lower to get the win. And a 3-6-1 will get the job done for the Yankees. As the Tigers, actually, that now would have the same record as the Indians at 57 and 64. And let's see for today's game. Ooh, they're not... Favored that they're not really even favored that much. Let's see what that matchup was. Sorry, um, Andy Pettit and Nate Robertson. So the Yankees essentially a six five one. So if it's higher than six five one, the Tigers will pull off a surprise win. Oh, and they almost did six three four, and so that means the Indians are a half game above the Tigers at fifty seven and sixty five. All right, let's see the Minnesota Twins here. Okay, they also had a day off, so they will play just the one game today. Uh, they are hosting the Texas Rangers. And the pitching matchup for that game was Kaysen Gabbard for the Rangers and Carlos Silva for the 
uh, Twins, a game that was actually very close in real life. But Hyperfast Scoring has this 4-2-4 for the Twins. And a 3-6-2, and the Twins will extend their lead on the division. And they will move to 60-61. and 61. So they will have a three-game lead over the Indians and a three-and-a-half game lead over the Tigers. All right, now let's move over to the Al Red Sox fan portion of this. Let's see here. Boston actually played a doubleheader against the Angels today. So let me pull up there. In game one, it was John Lackey against Clay Buckholtz. And game one, Boston gets to roll a 6 1 6. And a five will get it done. It's 5 5 4. So Boston wins the first game. And in the second game of the doubleheader, It was uh, Irvin Santana against Josh Beckett. But because the backups usually play, um, and the possibility to sweep is not great, 2 3 1 is the roll, 2 3 1 and under is the roll for the Red Sox to try to sweep a doubleheader. And they will not. So they split the doubleheader against the Angels. And they will move to 74 and 48 on the season. And I will play out the Toronto Blue Jays game. Toronto. Actually, I have to roll two Toronto games. So Toronto, uh, they finished a series against the uh, Anaheim before heading to uh, to uh, to Boston, I should say. And the Anaheim game was uh, Kelvim Escobar for the Angels and Dustin McGowan for the Blue Jays. And Toronto is a 5 4 2 favorite. So essentially, you got to roll six for Anaheim to get the win there. And they don't. 2, two 6 4, so they will take the, the win on that. I moved it. That would have put them within three games. And the second game, oh boy. They faced the Baltimore Orioles. And this is uh Garrett Olson against AJ Burnett. And Toronto is 6 5 2 or lower to win. I smell some rigging going on, but I don't know. 5 2 3, and the Blue Jays keep on winning. So that puts the Blue Jays at 71 and 50. So two and a half games back now of the 
uh, Blue Jay or the Red Sox are the Blue Jays. All right. Once again, if you'd like to have any of your uh, team's games rolled on here, uh, maybe after this series I'll do a full standings video along with a comparison for uh, the re replay versus real stats for that time period. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Like, uh, please leave a like. Uh, any comments you might have, either just questions or anything else. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified of any new videos. And whatever games you are playing, please enjoy them to your fullest. Have a good night, everybody.